Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome to episode 1 of my Road to 100 Goals with Tube Promoting. Basically in this series I'm trying to score 100 goals with Tube Promoting as quickly as I can. There's no particular rules other than that I'll be using Tube Promoting in a silver team which may change every couple of episodes and most of the matches played, if not all of them, will be online single matches. Throughout the series you'll always be able to see the current goal tally at the bottom left and it'll update after every goal is scored. So each episode in the series will show a couple of games, all the goals and I'm aiming for this series to be uploaded a couple of times each week. When I do eventually get to 100 goals is simply a case of choosing a different player and then starting again. If you could leave a rating at the end of the video then that would be greatly appreciated as I'm trying to make this series as successful as possible. Anyway though, if you haven't seen Tube Promoting before you can see here he's a Cameroonian striker that plays for Manz in the German Bundesliga. He's got very well, well rounded stats with 79 pace, 77 dribbling and 70 shooting as well as being 6 foot 3 with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. This is squad I'll be starting him in but as I said the squad may change every couple of episodes and I think the first few episodes you will see the squad was was a, a little bit different. Before we get into the first game I would like to point out that I will be using a bronze bench that's not purposely to try and get an advantage although it may help sometimes it's mainly because if I don't use this bronze bench I'll be at a disadvantage playing gold teams who are using a bronze bench as well. In my opinion this will just ma make matchmaking a little bit fairer and I'll probably come up against a lot more silver teams than I would do without the bronze bench. So we're heading to the first game now and it couldn't have been much of a harder start to be honest. End up against some Korean slash Portugal mix silver squad there with Palo Futra at the legend card at left wing. So it was quite a difficult start, it's a very very pacey squad but I do make a really really great start. Chu promoting only takes him 3 minutes to get him onto the score sheet with a nice chip here over the keeper. A really great finish, that's what Chu promoting is all about. He's a very tall player with really good dribbling and he has also got really really great finishing. So a nice finish there, nice through ball, I think by in from Kambela when I was using him and Chu promoting a nice chip over the keeper. Then at 44 minutes, I think Chu promoting then ends up getting his second. A nice chip through ball there, Chu promoting takes it down his chest weak foot straight into the far post so another really great finish there Chu promoting finishing is absolutely amazing it wasn't until I started playing all these games that I just realised how good Chu promoting was so that is quite a good quite a good first half there against this team of Palo Futra and then Chu promoting decided to go on a nice skill run with him and don't really end up doing many skills other than the start and he just tanks off the defender ends up going past those pacey Korean defenders they couldn't really handle him and that gets his third of the game there and I think the opponent does leave already. So the opponent leaves at about 50-60 minutes and that is three goals in his first game with the opponent leaving. So as the opponent left we can just, just about fit another game into the first episode. So the second game we go into is against this bronze Korean squad with a couple of silvers there. So not the best squad, a few pacey players. I know the centre attacking mid is the guy with 5 star weak foot and 90 something pace and the left back I think has got about 87 pace. So it's, it's a bit of a bad team. You will notice here I do actually go one goal down. A lot of these a lot of these games I do go one, one goal down, I've got no idea why, I just end up doing that loads. But I do get a goal back in the 75th minute, yes it takes until the 75th minute in order to get a goal back from the corner. But Chu promoting then does go crazy here and runs all the way through the defence. Not a great defence but does run through, a nice finish there with the left foot. So I've not scored any goals here until the, I think the 75th minute, I then go and score, end up scoring four I think in like the last couple of minutes here. I try to rainbow flick with Chu promoting, try and get round, but then it goes full to Clemens, the left mid, and a nice finish there into the far corner. Not done yet, Chu promoting is not done. He needs to he needs to get another goal in this episode, and he does. So I end up running through here and a really great finish there from the out with the outside of his right foot from quite far out as well. The, probably the keeper probably should have saved it, but it is a really, really nice finish, and it's a really great start to this episode. So five goals in the first couple of games, and that is a really great start. So you'll see a replay here, a really nice, just goes around the defender and then a nice far post finish with Chu promoting. So that is the end of the first episode. So the second game ends 4-1 with Chu promoting getting two there and he also got, th got three in the first game. So currently at five goals after two games. So this carries on, it could be a fairly quick series. So if you enjoyed my first episode of Road to 100 Goals with Chu promoting, then feel free to leave a rating at the end of this video. There will be a lot, a lot of nice goals to come. I've scored plenty of long shots. I'm warning you now, there are going to be some really, really nice goals of Chu promoting in the coming episodes. So thanks for watching guys. Cheers.